Good evening, everyone. It is another magical day here at Walt Disney World. Today, David and I are at the Beach Club doing a bit of exploring, and then we're headed off to Epcot. Now, I don't remember the Chevy car being here way back when. I know it's been here for a couple years, or at least in recent years anyway, but I don't remember it years and years ago. Maybe it's a new addition, maybe it just hasn't been noticed by me, but I like it. I really do. Walking by Cape May now, you can smell the clam bake. It smells so good. It's one of my favorites, Dave. What do you think? It's a good one, but you know, I was just thinking about my favorite foods and reviewing them, and I think if I had to pick one for buffet, it'd be Ohana. Ohana over Cape May. Over Cape May. I tend to agree in terms of food, but I don't know. Somehow the seafood here, there's times where I'm going to crave this over Ohana, but I'm not saying food's better or worse, just there are moments where I'm going to crave one or the other. I agree with that, and I'm a huge seafood fan as well, so you're not alone on that. Just in general, if I had to pick one, in terms of overall, like all items being winners, and just... From, de from appetizer to dessert. From appetizer to dessert, okay. full flavors of everything in the meal, just amazing stuff. For me, it's Ohana. But I can definitely see why you'd want seafood sometimes too. I am a huge seafood fan. There you go. Take a look at our sweatshirts right here. The newly purchased Star Wars Day at Sea sweatshirts. I think they look great. What do you think, Dave? They're nice ones for sure. Yeah, I think they're awesome, and I do like the hood. As we're walking up to the International Gateway now, we're looking at the expansion of France, and we're thinking to ourselves, it's amazing how quickly Disney's able to put all this together this summer, this summer. There's a lot that's open, including the Remy Ratatouille adventure. That's gonna be amazing. I, I cannot wait for all that and more. Now, David and I have been thinking about different food items to try all around the world here at Epcot, and one that I mean, we either haven't been to since we were kids or probably never been to. I'm going to say probably never been to. Next to the Hibachi restaurant, there's this sit down. I don't know what that's about. I, I can't remember. Let's go find out. Now, here's Tukemi Thai. This is a restaurant that I have been thinking about for a little while now. It is extremely expensive, extremely expensive, but it's one that I really want to try. At some point we will, I promise. Not today. What another day. Here we are on the top of the Japan Pagoda and you can see the restaurant right in there. We're gonna take a quick look at the menu and then probably give it a try. I knew it was called Tokyo Dining. So Tapanito is the hibachi, Tokyo Dining is the non-hibachi section. So tonight, we're gonna try Tokyo Dining. Now I was not thinking ahead for Tokyo Dining, but that's okay. 30 minute wait, but the benefit is when you're a resident, you can wait 30 to 40 minutes. No big deal, maybe we'll walk around do something else in Japan. Sitting here waiting for our table, We've got a little while waiting for the buzzer to go off, and Dave and I are both looking around. And you can see that everyone here who works here at Tokyo Dining and at Tapanito come from Japan. And I love that authentic experience. It feels like you've truly transported to Japan. Disney really prides themselves on that. It really is the cast members and team members who make this all possible for these Japanese exchange students or exchange personnel to come over here and be here for us. Looks like we got that nice table by the window. Super nice. So here we are at Tokyo Dining. A lot of delicious options. David and I were thinking about the entrees, but we're both craving sushi. So we might get some sushi rolls, maybe three of them, and split them up. But then we saw right here on this extra menu here, there's some amazing looking dessert it's right there so maybe 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 we'll, we'll see looking at that spicy crunchy roll at the top right there looks delicious rainbow roll always looks good volcano roll one of my favorites and this sunshine salmon roll also looks good the citrus shrimp roll also looks amazing some great sushi we want to try here today we're trying to find the best sushi around that is our mission maybe we'll find it here maybe we won't only time will tell. Now, remembering those straws from Cowfish right here, I'm taking a look at this one much, much thinner. My hope, my hope is that we can get thicker paper straws here at Disney. I remember at Cowfish, the straw lasted the entire night. It was in the water the entire night. So I'm hoping this one does as well, but it's a little bit thin. We'll see. But thicker straws, it seems to be the answer. Thicker paper straws. And here we are with some amazing looking sushi. Here is the sunshine roll right here. Looks really, really good. Look at that, it looks amazing. And David, help me with this one. I <laughs> remember citrus? Citrus shrimp. That's right, citrus, citrus shrimp roll right there. And this is the spicy, spicy sushi right over there. Two different sauces with the sa wasabi over there. Spicy mayo over here. Looks absolutely delicious. Could this be the best sushi you've ever tried or ever tried in Florida. Well, let's try it. First up is that citrus roll. Bon appetit. A very, very good flavor. I like that one. Is that citrus at first and it gets kind of spicy at the end. You can taste those spices as they come through. The shrimp is flavorful, which is kind of surprising. Usually it's kind of a, a blander shrimp, especially when it's opened up like that. 
but it tastes really, really good. Not sure if it's my number one ever, but I like that one a lot. I was looking for a unique flavored roll, and that one is unique for sure. Definitely embodies that citrus and shrimp flavor, and I, I, it is very unique, very unique. I wouldn't call it my favorite sushi of all time, but it definitely has a nice flavor to it. I like it. I'm excited to dig into the other two. So I'd say it's okay to good, but I'm not sure I would get that one again. Up next, the sunshine roll. Super excited about this, but I could see it. The flavor profile of that sushi is extremely good and it evolves as you eat it. You taste the salmon. You taste a little cream cheese in there. Then you get in the spice at the end. All sorts of flavors. I love that one. I would get that one again. Really, really delicious. Definitely agree with you on that one. Definitely my preferred flavor so far. A variety of different spices and flavors to that one as well. I'm definitely a fan. I, I feel like I would get that one again for sure. Again, excited to try all the different flavors, but another very unique one. I think the wasabi is utilized quite a bit here with the sauces, which I do kind of like, but it uh, makes it very unique sushi flavor, which I like. Now it's time for the spicy crunchy roll, spicy mayo version. Bon appetit. That is an extremely good roll. Not too spicy. I was worried for a minute thinking it would be too spicy. It's not too spicy. I've had spicier than that. I like it. I really, really do. The winner, we haven't tried wasabi yet, but the winner I can tell you right now is that sunshine roll. It is fantastic. That's the one I would go to again and again. I loved it. Spicy one's not bad, but between the three that we've tried so far, we haven't tried wasabi yet. I would choose the sunshine, then spicy, then citrus. Citrus still good, but that's the order I put it in for now. Now it's time for the wasabi spicy crunchy roll. Not bad, not bad at all, but between the two, spicy mayo wins for me, hands down. Wasabi's not bad, the best by far, the sunshine salmon roll. That is the one to get here at Tokyo Dining, yum. Overall experience, Tokyo Dining, really, really good. I enjoyed it, I know we'll be back again really soon. Now, straw update, I know you're dying to know. Yeah, it's a uh, little crumbly. Not too, too bad, but compared to the straw we had at Cowfish a couple days ago, yeah, we, we need thicker straws. Thicker paper straws would solve the problem right there. It's gotten a little bit colder out here, but David, take a look to your left. There's a really cool Mickey, kind of that darker colored Mickey, Sorcerer Mickey. I really like that one. I like that one a lot. I think I mentioned it earlier. It's one of my favorites. Now you're thinking to yourself, Michael David, how cold is it while you're wearing hoods and sweatshirts and shivering? You're gonna laugh. You're gonna, I'm looking at my phone here. You're gonna laugh when we tell you and you're gonna be like, Michael David, come on, come on now. It's 61 degrees. I'm cold. Are you cold? It's chilly. It's chilly. It's chilly. And I know what you're thinking, Michael David, that's not even close to cold, but I think we've totally acclimated at this point. I feel like we totally switched over where it's like sweatshirts and coats at 60 degrees. I don't know how this happened. It, it, you know, in, in the DC area, I was fine at 60, but now I am so cold. Now this makes a lot of sense. Take a look, the parks close at 9 p.m. Epcot closes at nine, the other parks close at eight. So it makes perfect sense that the gondola system goes until 10. I have a feeling this is what it was meant to be. We saw it on a night that it wasn't running the entire night, but this is great to see. It runs an hour after the last park closes. After a fantastic dinner here at Epcot, it's sitting back and relaxing. And you know, I've been thinking quite a bit about the future of Walt Disney World and what this place is going to look like in another, not 20 or 30 years, 50 years. In 10 years, we might get a new park. Maybe, you know, some big new rides, big resort areas, 20 or 30 years, definitely new parks and maybe new water parks, updated water parks, new shows throughout all the different parks. But in 50 years, will the walkways be the same? Will the resorts that we know and love still exist at all? That That's the big question. And when you think about it, you have the contemporary, you've got the Polynesian, you've got the Grand Floridian, they've been around since the 70s. All right, they, they're coming up on 50 years right now, and they still are doing super, super well. They look fantastic, but in another 50, in another 50, will they still exist? I think they will. I think a lot of Walt Disney World will be similar, similar, but changes throughout, even the light poles up here, the benches here, I believe there will be differences all over Walt Disney World in that amount of time because change is essential. Here at Beaches and Cream and take a look at this line at the to-go window, super long one here, but they have all sorts of delicious ice creams to go. They've got those adult shakes, which are delicious. The ice cream creations, of course, the mini Mickey sink right there. All sorts of other ice creams that you can get and those root beer floats, which you know I love. It's amazing how I keep going from sweatshirt to short sleeves and it just goes back and forth. I don't know, maybe it's, the you know, that first, is it winter? It's still winter, right? It's winter. 
first winter in Florida, and it just takes some getting used to. Big question, do you think we'll be fully acclimated next winter? No. Re oh, no, you don't think so? It'll be cold. I mean, we're acclimated right now. That's why we're cold. Okay, fair point. Because if, if we were coming from somewhere where it was 20, came down to 60, we'd be in shorts yeah, and t-shirt. Right, exactly. Good point. So much fun today to try and find the best sushi around. If you have any sushi recommendations, please let us know in the comments. We're going to be trying lots of different sushi from all around in the coming weeks and months. Thanks as always for being a part of the magic with us today. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time. Have a magical day. And see you real soon. Oh, 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 oh,